operation for quite some number of months now, more likely years. Uh, we had our first conversation about, what was it, 18 months or more ago uh, to revive this committee. And even before that, we had some early discussions about what, what to do with the northern approaches to the city on Reno. So the objective is to come up with some ideas. Um, we've got a blown up chart here of what we're talking about. We're basically starting with 104, going south uh, as far as Gaper. And if that necessary, down to Edwards to pick up maybe some smaller properties that are fronting the, the highway. But what I'd like to do is is divide this up in three parcels and let three owners of property, one in the north, one in the middle, and one in the south, to come back to us the week before Thanksgiving Thursday, uh, which will give about six, six or seven weeks to come up with being able to talk to neighbors and coming up with some ideas of what you would like to see to protect the beauty and the yeah. bucolic nature of the northern approaches to the to the city of Fairbanks. I'm looking for some volunteers for the upper, middle, and lower section. Well, I'll go the upper section and provide some ideas for the committee. For the ideas for this committee. Oh, and sort of go, uh, you know, you, you have certain limitations in that you, you've got zoning problems that we would have to solve, but that's fine. Yeah, I, I think that you know, I'm, I'm going to try, I'm, I'm here for administrative purposes and to listen to what the committee recommends and suggests, but we need to come up with an approach as far as how we're going to deal with coming up with appropriate land uses along that corridor. I don't know what that approach may be, but this committee needs to come up with an organized approach to looking into whether or not those uses are compatible with what's surrounding the area and whether or not it's what the city actually needs. Um, I think that the discussions that we have need to be a little bit more geared towards, like I said, land use and what the city wants and how we may approach getting to where the committee feels like we need to be. So that's what I have to say at this point. How much of this are you talking about? We're talking about, we're dealing with 104 properties, and this is just generally, properties from 104 south to Gayford. That's what I understood we were doing. Well, I wrote down some, you know, I was thinking about mission statements, and uh, I came to one that's, it's just a draft, but under the spirit of the cooperative individualism, which is how this community was founded, mm -hmm. uh, I, I just wrote down these words, under the umbrella of the comprehensive plan, provide a framework to enable the North Reno corridor to be put to its highest and best use, while preserving stakeholder property rights and incorporating best practices in urban design and development, which, which includes sustainability, green space, continuity, and architectural and landscape design. That can be done. Mm -hmm. what, what has frustrated mm -hmm every property owner for the past 30 years has been the inability because of, of the spot zoning issues to get anything done on green or property owners certainly do. We want to leave this city a legacy that we all can be proud of. Mm -hmm. And that, that's my objective. Uh, and that's the objective of the property owners that are sitting around this table. The only thing that I haven't solved, Rick, is how do we start with R1 and get it to a, a, a technology park if that's the decision we expect I'm going to, to go, go with to. I'm, I'm going to go with Jack on that. I'm going to say what we need to do is the, the three leaders for each of the three separate parcels need to either one come to their own strategic plan or combine maybe have a strategic plan and then work to that goal. Because, you know, I don't want to talk about bowling alleys or, or splash parks or any of that other stuff right now. I'd like to find out what, what the individuals come back to this group with yeah. and then what we can do as a group 
if we can agree on it, if we can tweak it, whatever we can do, but we can mesh it together, and then we come up with a, I hesitate to say comprehensive plan. How about integrated plan? An integrated plan. That's a good choice of words. An integrated plan to get all three of the sections together and work to that. And I think we can do that if everybody goes in. Again, I emphasize people having an open mind and not worrying about what's been done in the past, but with the goal, and I think Fred's mission statement hit it pretty well yes. in terms of what we need to leave the folks that are going to be here 20 and 30 years after, after today.